Today I'm going to discuss a physiological disorder of tomato called yellow shoulders. The top of the fruit around the stem is called the shoulder of the tomato. As the fruit ripens, the top tends to turn an intense yellow. These areas will never ripen properly. The area beneath the yellow shoulders will be firm and poor tasting. The fruit will also have discolored regions under the skin that show through and reduce the quality of the fruit. This disorder can range from very mild with some internal spotting to quite severe with large areas that are hardened and yellow to white. Because of the wide variation in symptoms, this disorder is known by a number of names, including yellow eye, green shoulders, yellow tag, gray wall, and internal white tissue. It is important to note that yellow shoulders is not a delayed ripening problem, but an actual disorder of the affected tissue. The cause of this problem on tomato fruits has baffled scientists for more than 30 years. Many scientists feel there are several causal factors for yellow shoulders, which include one, environment. High temperatures during the ripening period can cause this problem, especially if the temperatures exceed 90 degrees Fahrenheit. This problem is common in tomato varieties that have dark green shoulders when the fruit is unripe. Yellow shoulders develops when there is a nutrient deficiency, especially potassium and other nutrient imbalances, which we'll talk about a little bit later. For example, this disorder can be triggered by insufficient levels of what we call exchangeable potassium. And this is the amount of potassium that's readily available in the soil for the plants to pick up. Also, excess magnesium in relation to the amount of calcium in the soil can bring on this problem, as well as having an improper pH, which is a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of the soil. Some scientists believe that a virus might be involved, but when I was doing research for this video, I didn't see very much on that. The interaction of these factors in a garden or in field conditions are very difficult to evaluate, so here are some tips to help prevent this problem in home gardens. Keep records on which varieties tend to have this problem, and either avoid those or be sure to follow the following tips. Fertilize in spring according to soil test results. Make sure potassium is added to the high side of the recommended levels, and they need about 267 pounds per acre in the soil when you start the plants. Try to maintain a soil pH of 6.5, no more than 6.7, and no less than 6.3. To raise pH, you'll need to use lime. To lower the pH, you can use either sulfur, iron sulfate, or citric acid if you want an organic option. Your local university extension staff can help you if you need assistance with the calculations on how much to add. The ratio of calcium to magnesium on your soil test results should be ideally four to one. That means four times as much calcium in the soil as magnesium. At a minimum, it should be six to one. One unusual way to avoid the problem altogether is to harvest your tomatoes when you first start to see pink and then let the fruit ripen at room temperature in the dark. Because the lycopene, which is the red pigment, is produced as the fruit ripens, it is often impossible to avoid yellow shoulders by removing the fruit from the high temperatures and other stresses. But remember, if you do this, the flavor is likely to be decreased. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you have any ideas about what future topics you'd like me to cover, please put them in the comments also.